Omaheke Innovation Incubation Hub under the Office of the Regional Governor offered its first training focusing on meat processing to about 40 participants. Topics covered included the different mechanical processes involved in processing fresh meat that are cutting, grinding, mixing, packaging as well as value addition. You need to know because that's how you get maximum value from your carcass. Somebody will butcher a carcass and when they sell all the pieces they get something like $12,000 out of it. And then another person butchers the same carcass, they get $32,000 out of it. Where is the difference? It's not going to be a full T-bone anymore because we've took out the, the softer side of the T-bone but it's just going to be a clap. One of Omaheke region's intentions is to become the beef basket of Namibia by specializing in the production and processing beef and byproducts. This is in line with government's policies of ensuring that value is added to products produced within the country, rather than solely exporting cattle on hoof, which leads to the re-import of cattle byproducts that originated from Namibia. Thus, training the locals in this process will contribute immensely on the growth of the region's economy. Concluding the training, Ganata urged the participants to put the knowledge they acquired to use. The president is very worried that so many young people and yet they are unemployed. It's a worrisome factor because these are the people that should build the economy. Now we're giving you training. This is one of the trainings which we also realize that it is not enough. It does not turn you into a fully knowledgeable person but it gives you at least the interest. Knowledge that is not applied is of no use. If we don't apply knowledge, then it's of no use to us. But if you go and start grouping yourself in groups of 10, groups of 20, groups of whatever, and you say, people, can we now start working towards a business plan? If that was not enough, it's up to you people to even come back again to the trainer and say, can we have a follow-up training? I found it quite interesting because there's a lot of things that I did not know about, you know, cutting meat in different shapes and sizes and valuing the meat actually.